Hey, check this out. I was asked to insert a, an Excel uh, database or, or uh, spreadsheet into an AutoCAD Civil 3D drawing. And uh, what I found is that um, when doing so, you could easily redraw the information, which would take you uh, an exorbitant amount of time. You could easily do a drag and drop, but that creates kind of an image of that information, which is grainy when it prints and that kind of thing. So to get something that is clear and crisp and concise, and uh, not to mention will update when um, dynamically when um, when someone else changes that Excel file um, what we're gonna do is I'll, I'll show you what I've come up with or what I found uh, is probably the more appropriate way to um, add this information to a drawing uh, so what I do is I go to my insert tab or ribbon and um, I go to down here to linking and extraction so if I go to Data, what, I, what I've also done is I've created this uh, test uh, Excel file which has some bogus information in it, but um, it serves the purpose to, to, uh, to see how we do this. So if I go again over to Insert Ribbon, uh, Linking and Extractions, Data Link, I go ahead and create a data link, a new Excel data link, and I'm just going to call this um, Table uh, 1 and say OK and I'm going to browse out and find my Excel files say open I'm going to give it the full path you could always do relative path if you'd like and I'm going to link to the range which I know is A1 to E7 so just to show you that I've got A1 to E7 um, so what happens is, is that just creates the link to that data so now we want to bring the information into the drawing and to do that I just type in table and on this dialog we have uh, from data link and you can easily pick from the list of data links that you have and then when I say OK that data is brought in now you'll see that it's kind of choppy that kind of thing you can get in here and change justifications and and um, stretch these columns out uh, further so that it, you know it picks up more information uh, that type of thing um, you can also um, the neat part about this is that um, when someone is in this file and they decide to add some information if you and they change the data and save what happens is, is that you get a, a warning here that the data link has been changed so if we update it you'll notice that the information gets updated as well so it's kind of a dynamic uh, ability there and um, that way your information stays up to date and um, your calculations are true to the Excel file so uh, hopefully you like this. It helps uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Thanks.